We had hoped to move these chicks out into their own uh, outside enclosure, but the weather and predators have kind of been working against us. They're little escape artists. Uh, they're flying out of here every chance they can get. To us that it seems like we bought a lot of chicks well to get the fab rolls we wanted we had to get a straight run which means um, you get what you get you don't throw a fit right we got two that's fine we'll have two uh, two fresh laying hens uh, because the hens we have are getting old the other thing we did is we uh, we buttoned this up a little bit so that it was a little more predator resistant um, you know, we put the skirt on and uh, put a little more welded wire on. I will hang their feeder and their water on a couple of roof and nails that are tacked up in there. And then every day you just move this chicken tractor ahead or over onto fresh grass and away from all their droppings, that's it. If you're worried about what the lawn will look like if you raise meat birds in the backyard, this first picture is about three days out and the second picture is seven days out. So within about a week, you're pretty close to being able to rotate them back onto where you started from. I would suggest having twice the area of your chicken tractor's footprint. For us, that's uh, about 16 by 28 uh, because we have a four by eight chicken tractor. That gives you uh, about two weeks before you come full circle. So our experience with these Cornish broilers are, um, they tend to get kind of fat and lazy as they grow. See the one behind you that's laying down and eating? Can you turn and you see that? Can't okay, you can't. Not without my parents. Okay. As the birds get a little older, they get a little lazier, which is typical for the breed. Okay, it's time to move the chicken tractor. I'll just take the weights off the skirt that kind of keep it held down so that uh, it's flat to the ground. So if any animals do try and come and dig or get under it discourages them and then it also makes it easier for those chickens to come in and out when the wires held down flat Okay, that's all there is to it. This gives you a decent view of what the ground will look like after they've been on it for 24 hours. It's pretty covered in poop. Uh, and they've eaten a bunch of the grass. But it'll come back. Um, it only takes a couple of minutes a day to keep the tr chicken tractor up. It just takes a few minutes to move it and 
make sure there's food and water in there. It's a pretty easy setup. And then the chickens, while you're moving, get some time to wander and scratch around. 